Good morning and welcome to the subcommittee on planning dispositions and concessions. I'm Council Member Ben Kalos, Chair of the subcommittee. You can tweet me at Ben Kalos. We're joined today uh, by Council Member Ruben Diaz Sr., who got here early because 15 minutes early is the new on time. Council Member Chaim Deutsch and Council Member Keith Powers. Today we'll be voting on two projects we heard on January 14th. Land use items 310 and 311, water side plaza, land use item 313, 4697, Third Avenue. We will be voting to approve land use items 310 and 311, water side plaza. Application to facilitate the preservation of 325 affordable housing units at 10, 20, 25, 30, and 40 Waterside Plaza in Kipps Bay, Manhattan, and Council Member Powers District. HPD is requesting approval of the disposition of city owned land and amendment to the Waterside Urban Renewal Plan for an additional 47 years for a total unexpired term of 99, year, 99 years extending to 2,116. Upon approval, HPD will enter into a new ground lease with the owner. The terms of the ground lease will preserve residential affordability by incorporating rent freezes, rent reductions, and limits on rent increases for affected tenants. Council Member Powers is supportive of this uh, application. I would like to uh, call upon him if you'd like to make some remarks. Thank We've you. We've also thank been joined by Council Member Gibson. Thank you, and I want to thank you to the staff and to the chair for uh, sitting through a long hearing last week where we asked a lot of questions about the deal and um, let us get a better understanding of, of the impact to the tenants, but also um, push for the uh, additional uh, things that we were asking for as part of the, the final deal. Um, I am supportive of this deal because um, Waterside Plaza is a place I've been my entire life and I've gotten to know many of the people that live there and through my tenure in the city council have gotten to understand their predicament in terms of affordability at a place that was built to be an affordable complex as a Michelama complex that exited the program about 15 years ago or more, more than six, 17 years ago. Um, the deal that you'll be voting on today and that I'm here to, to join and support um, would create a real uh, long-term affordability in the complex for 75 years, but also would it help the tenants that are living there today uh, um, achieve more affordable rents and to limit increases for the future. This deal to me is something I've worked on since I stepped in office on day one. I should give credit to my predecessor, Dan Garonic, as well for kickstarting the conversation. But we have spent a, essentially a year trying to get to this point to achieve a meaningful, um, a meaningful reform of the rents at Waterside Plaza. They're not here, but at our hearing, there were dozens of tenants from Waterside who have been coming to every meeting where possible to talk about their particular situation. So I am very proud to be here today to uh, be where we are in terms of um, making a meaningful difference in the lives of about 325 units, but more people at Waterside Plaza. This is the type of deal that I think we all should uh, aim to achieve in our, our districts where possible. So I urge your support of it. And I just want to thank again my staff who are here, who have been working um, through the weekends and the nights to get to this point. I want to thank all the staff at the Land Use Committee and at this committee for, for their assistance throughout the way and their patience as we've asked a lot of questions and sent a lot of emails. And with that, I ask you to support it. Thanks so much. Thank you, Council Member Powers. We'll also be voting to approve land use item 313, 4697, Third Avenue application that will facilitate the development of a new mixed use eight story building, providing 52 units of affordable housing in Council Member Torres' district in the Bronx. This project will developed under HPD's ELLA program, and 15% of the units will be reserved for formerly homeless households. HPD seeks an urban development action area designation project approved on disposition of approval for the site, which currently contains two vacant lots and were used as a parking lot for city vehicles. Council Member Torres is supportive of this application. I'd like to invite, uh, I'd like to now invite our uh, council to please call the roll. This is a vote to approve LUs 310, 311, and 313. Chair Kalos. Aye and all. Gibson. I vote aye. Deutsch. Aye. Diaz. Aye and all. By a vote of four in the affirmative, no negatives and no abstentions, the land use items are approved and referred to the full land use committee. We will. Uh Uh, we will now close the vote. Uh, that concludes today's hearing. I'd like to thank the council and land use staff for preparing today's hearing and the members of the public and my colleagues for attending this meeting is hereby adjourned.